Superpowered factory robots, Amazon's own EV infrastructure, more AR products, vertical farms, Virgin's new spacecraft, and more. My name is Tommy, and this is The Tech Files. Hit subscribe or follow for all the big stories in tech each week. Thanks to our sponsor, Lead Express, guaranteeing ROI for your next B2B campaign. I know you're busy, let's dive in. Leading robotics company, Boston Dynamics, owned by Hyundai, have released their first commercial robot called Stretch, focused on warehouse automation. The robot has advanced 2D and 3D vision, a mobile base, meaning it can move anywhere within the warehouse, incredible speed and high load capacity. Another massive step forward for industrial automation. And if you want more on this topic, Future Sandwich just released a podcast episode, Artificial Workforce, which focuses on how businesses need to start designing around automation. Virgin Galactic released images of its latest spacecraft, the VSS Imagine, which will be used for suborbital space tourism. The company will start testing the new spacecraft mid-year from its New Mexico spaceport America. The company's aim is to facilitate 400 flights per annum from each of its spaceports. ABB and Amazon's AWS have announced a collaboration to jointly develop a cloud-based digital solution for real-time fleet management of EVs. Using machine learning and analytics, the solution will include a set of features like charge planning and real-time monitoring with insight and actions for vehicle health and servicing. This could be compared to owning the train tracks of the Industrial Revolution. Own the infrastructure, wield the power. Snap are pushing further into hardware with an updated pair of AR glasses. The new Spectacles 3 will allow the user to see the AR overlaid with the real environment. There's been very little information since Snap acquired Control Me Robotics back in 2017 and eyed off another selfie drone around the same time. With Snap stringing a few acquisitions like this together, we can see repositioning as a camera company is on the cards. You have to tip your hat to Snap, consistently out-innovating most of their trillion dollar peers. Niantic, the game developer behind Pokemon Go, have teased an AR headset too. Having recently raised 470 million, Niantic have made a number of investments and acquisitions in the AR space, including optical platform DigiLens and developers 6DI and Escher Reality. They have also a deep patent portfolio across depth estimation, real-time positioning and edge computing, making them way more than just a pure game developer. This would be a great M&A target for someone like Nintendo or Google, who are both currently investors in the company. Here's a teaser codenamed Urban Legends, an ultra low latency 5G multiplayer gaming experience. It's Pokemon Go to the power of multiplayer madness. Vertical Farmer Aero Farms is merging with Spring Valley Acquisition Corp in a deal valuing the company at 1.2 billion. The company operates the largest vertical farm in the world, growing over 500 different varieties of fruit and vegetables. They have multiple new projects under development, which they claim are more than 390 times more productive than traditional farming. Use 95% less water, 0.03% of the land, zero pesticides, and are grown locally, reducing supply chain emissions. An overview of their exciting tech platform is highlighted in the company's investor presentation you can view at futuresandwich.com. In M&As, Spotify have purchased Betty Labs, the creator of live audio app Locker Room, marking the company's first real foray into social audio. Locker Room at present has a focus on sports, enabling fans to have live audio conversations. Pivoting this model towards music, perhaps overlaid with live concerts, podcasts and other content, could be a real value-add innovation for Spotify, who appear more in product parody land as they try to keep up with the rapid pace of innovation in their industry. And that's a wrap for this week. Big thanks to Granite Bay Capital for their insights. You can catch their substack below. And our sponsor, Lead Express, who can guarantee the results for your next B2B campaign. Click their link below to find out what ROI you can lock in for 2021. My name is Tommy McCubbin. You can find me at futuresandwich.com on LinkedIn, YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. This has been The Tech Files. We'll see you next week.